Hello and welcome back to uh, the rest of this lesson. We started this lesson in class with the objectives to define angle, circle, collinear, coplanar, perpendicular, line, parallel line, and line segment precisely using the terms point, line, and plane and utilize appropriate mathematical notation to describe points, lines, line segments, and their measure equality and congruence. So we're going to finish up our definitions here together. You will need a blue pen, a black pen, a uh, red and green pen. Markers are all right, but definitely need at least one plain, boring writing utensil. Okay. We're going to talk next about what it means for two lines to be parallel. So parallel lines never intersect so if I wanted to write notation to show the two lines are parallel perhaps AB is parallel to CD okay. next when two lines are perpendicular parallel lines never intersect and are on the same plane. Perpendicular lines are lines that intersect at a right angle. And that notation for perpendicular lines would look like AB is perpendicular to CD. The last relationship lines can have, besides being just plain intersecting, is skew. Okay? And skew lines are kind of like this. If you notice, there's quite a little bit of space in between my two pens. They're on two different planes and they never intersect. Make sure that's okay. Sorry about that. Okay, so skew. Two non intersecting. Lines on different planes. So they're not parallel, but they're not intersecting. Okay? Alright, let's turn our page. And add two more definitions and then an important idea. So, collinear. Two points are collinear if they are on the same line. Coplanar. Two lines are coplanar if they are on the same plane. Points can be coplanar as well, so we could substitute this word lines with points. So two points are coplanar if they are on the same plane, just plane. Okay? And the last important thought is the idea of congruent versus equal. I'm use a red pen here. Congruent.
versus equal. Okay, congruent, I'm gonna use a blue pen because I'm gonna write the definition of it, means same shape and measure. And equal means the same numeric value. Okay, so when we talk about two lines being, two line segments perhaps being congruent, we're saying that the shape of these lines, shape and distance are the same. If I were to say that AB, the length of AB, and note these two lines mean length, is equal to the length of CD, this means the length is the same number. So since I'm here, I'm talking about a shape, CD is a shape, and whereas when I put these two bars on either side that talks about a length, I use equal. So shapes use congruent, lengths use equal. Same thing with angles. Angle ABC is congruent to angle um, DEF, means the angles are same shape and measure, whereas if I were to use an equal, I'd say the measure of angle ABC is equal to the measure of DEF. And this would mean the degrees are the same number. Okay, so we use congruent whenever we're talking about a shape and equal whenever we're talking about a number. Okay, that's it.